Hi, and welcome to this introductory tutorial where I'm going to try and show you how to use LFO and MIDI data through VDMX to control a layer's opacity in QLab. Let's get started. First things first, in QLab, I'm going to make sure that I have the demo mode enabled. Or if you have a license, you don't have to worry about this. But since I don't, I want to make sure I get full functionality out of it. Next, I'm going to click on New Workspace. Bring it over here, and I'm going to open up VDMX. So a thing to note when VDMX opens, it's a modular workspace, so you can sort of customize it however you like. And in this instance, we're not loading any media clips, so I'm just going to get rid of the media bin. I need to make sure that in VDMX preferences, under the OSC tab, that I have my output ports set to 53,000. The reason for this is QLab in their OSC controls receives at 53,000. If you're sending this to a computer over a network, just use this IP address that's the other computers and put it in right here and then VDMX will send that data over a network to another computer. Okay, I'm gonna close these. I'm gonna jump back in here. In QLab, I'm just gonna start by loading in a clip from my friend Emily's puppet show. Let's do this one and this one. So if I hit spacebar, you'll just, you'll see it's a beautiful ship at sea. So let me get out of that by hitting escape. I'm gonna go back to VDMX and I'm gonna click on plugins. I'm gonna hit plus. I'm gonna create a control surface because we want to control the values with OSC. I'm going to select the control surface. Sometimes you might have media bin or clock or whatever selected. If you select control surface, then beneath it, you can hit the plus icon and choose a slider. I'm gonna click on that slider, which creates pops up my UI inspector. If you ever need access to this, they're available up here in the Windows tab or hit Command 2, Command 1. I'm going to click on it. And then here you can see that it's receiving this data right there. And we want to send over OSC a command that QLab understands, which is Q1 opacity. There we go. So now with my first layer selected, Q1, under the Display Geometry tab, you can pay attention to this number right here for opacity. I'm just gonna move this slider and you'll see that it live updates. Okay, from here, I can use my MIDI controller. I will right click, detect MIDI, and I'll move my slider. So now I have manual control over it with the MIDI controller. But let's say I wanted to control layer two, Q2. Well, all I have to do is click on this slider again, where it says send, hit plus, and I will just rename this Q2. Oh, that's it. All right, now I'll move my MIDI controller and you'll see that I'm controlling layer two's opacity. Okay, so I'm gonna hit plus, which creates a preset. So now this is my manual control preset. I'm going to go back to plugins and I'm going to add an LFO, which is right here and expand that. And then on this slider, I'm going to right click. I'm going to use data source, LFO, cosine. Now, if you look at this cosine, you'll see that as it goes from one to zero to one, it's sending that information to my slider, which is then sending it over to QLab. So we can consider this an auto function. Let's say I want to add a preset. Now I can select between manual control or this automatic control. Over here in the UI inspector, now that the preset's selected, I can change this name. Manual. I can change this one to auto. And I can click here, detect MIDI. And now on my using my MIDI controller, I can select between automatic and manual while I'm in the middle of a show. So this would be manual and this would be automatic. So I hope that this tutorial has gotten you excited about the possibilities of using VDMX and QLab together. Just, uh, have fun learning and thanks.